Hello and welcome. My name is Ben Cashman. I'm an AI ML Specialist Solutions Architect at AWS. And in this video, we're going to take a look at SageMaker Jumpstart, which provides us with pre-trained open source models for a wide range of problem types to get you started. All right. So here we are on the AWS console, taking a look at the Amazon SageMaker service page. And on the left-hand side over here, we see jump starts. I have it currently highlighted in blue here. And within this drop-down menu, we'll see we have three options. Uh, first, we'll be taking a look. We have something called foundation models. We have computer vision models. And finally, we also have natural language processing models as well. Clicking in on foundation models gives us access to large artificial intelligence models that have been trained on a vast quantity of data at scale, resulting in a model that can be adapted to a wide range of downstream tasks, such as article summarization, generative AI tasks like text, image, and even video generation as well. Clicking in on computer vision gives us access to computer vision models where we can launch and fine-tune models allowing us to do tasks such as image classification, object detection, and semantic segmentation. Finally, clicking in on natural language processing models gives us access to a library of NLP models to accomplish tasks including document classification, topic modeling, and sentiment analysis. Great! Now that we have a high-level understanding of some of the use cases that we can support from Jumpstart, let's go ahead and zoom in on a specific use case with a foundation model to summarize text. Here we're going to try out AI21 Jurassic, and we're going to be using the SageMaker Playground. So over here we can view the notebook, we're going to click in on Try the Model, and these playgrounds are free to use. They're hosted by AWS. Now that I've expanded our prompt screen, let's go ahead and insert some pre-baked text that I have ready to go here. Now I'm not going to read all this out to you, but we can understand that this is information pertaining to a French startup. And Jurassic is going to go ahead and summarize this input for us. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and click in on generate text here. And within just a few moments, we see we now have a summarization of the text that we input above as an output in the box below. Okay, so now we've seen a large language model inference in real time. And what if we want to get a little more hands-on or in a more programmatic fashion? Let's go ahead and enter SageMaker Studio and take a look at some of our sample notebooks. So I'm clicking in on one of my domains. I'm going to go ahead and log in as one of my users. Uh, we'll go ahead and use my MLOps engineer persona here. Launch Studio from the console. And we'll go ahead and take a look at jump starts from in SageMaker Studio. So on the left hand side over here we see SageMaker Jump Start. And the first thing I'm going to do is click in on Models, Notebooks, and Solutions, which brings us to a very similar panel to what we were seeing in the console. We've got foundation models, we've got vision models, we have text models, we have tabular audio models as well here in SageMaker Studio. And just like we did in the console, let's go ahead and zoom in on a specific use case. So. For our demonstration, let's go ahead and use Hugging Face. Uh, here we see uh, a model that's been created to do sentiment analysis using Distillabert. And I'm going to go ahead and click in here on View Model. As we take a look from this view, we can see I can deploy this model right out of the gate using a real-time endpoint. But before we do that, let's take a quick look at the deployment configuration where I can see the type of instance and the name of the endpoint. And with this particular jump start, we can fine tune this model to better suit our needs. Right now, this model is set up to gather positive or negative sentiment as it pertains to movie reviews, but we might be interested in something like Amazon product reviews. And if we click in here, we see we have deployment configuration details for a fine-tuned 
model. All right, so let's now go ahead and take a look at the notebook that we're provided here. So for this particular example, we see a description and we're just gonna go ahead and jump into the code here. So let's go ahead and click open notebook. So I'm not gonna run this now, but we should take a look here and understand that we have a well-documented demonstration on how to leverage the Jumpstart API for our specific task. And in this case, doing text classification or sentiment analysis. Based on our notebook outline here, we see that this notebook is going to help us programmatically do deployment, fine tuning, and is even gonna provide us with the ability to run inference using batch transformations. Okay, let's take a real quick cursory look at the code that we have available to us here. It shows you how to set up your environment, leveraging SageMaker, all the various standard imports. And finally, at the bottom here, we see we have our command to go ahead and deploy our model to an endpoint as well. So again, I'm not gonna run this code because I've already gone ahead and deployed this model. So on the left-hand side over here, we see launched quick start assets. And I'm gonna go ahead and click in on model endpoints here. And here we see I have two endpoints launched using BERT. So let's go ahead and click in on this top one. And we see I'm now presented with a bunch of information pertaining to the endpoint that I launched with my jumpstart. All right, let's go ahead and click in on open notebook here. And I'm now presented with an environment where I can actually go ahead and make requests over to this endpoint. So we've got some helper code here, and we also see we've got two mock reviews here. We have two inputs, text one and text two. Text one, we see astonishing, profound ethical and philosophical questions in the form of dazzling pop entertainment, right? This seemingly seems like a positive review compared to text number two. Simply stupid, irrelevant, and deeply, truly, bottomlessly cynical. So let's go ahead and run this through our model here. And we see the outputs for these two various inputs here written out below this code cell. The first output we see here shows our model is 99% confident that the label is indeed positive and gives us a label of one. And for the second output, we show our model is again 99% confident that the label is in fact negative and produces a label of zero. All right, this is great. We've now shown how to launch a large text classification model to an endpoint, leveraging SageMaker jumpstarts. And now we should also realize that in the background, we are indeed spinning up resources on our behalf. So before we close out, let's go ahead and delete this endpoint. I'm gonna go ahead and click back over here for launched quick start assets, click in on this endpoint here, and there's a nice button right at the bottom here. I'm gonna go ahead and click delete here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and click this, and this should give us confirmation that our endpoint has been terminated. And there it is, deleted. I hope you found this video helpful in your machine learning journey, leveraging SageMaker Jumpstarts to get you and your teams up and running rapidly.